Hey guys, so today we are back with another part of my Orly collection. So let's go ahead and get going. Well, I probably have about um, two more collections to go through with Orly. So let's get going, shall we? Okay. First up is this bright ass orange called Melt Your Popsicle. And that's all it is. It's a fluorescent orange polish. Okay. And zoom, zoom, zoom. And not coming up true, obviously. It's whacking out the camera a little bit. It's turning it like a reddish orange. Kind of like Cheetos. And a lot of oranges I don't like either because, well, for the simple fact is they look like Cheetos. But let's go ahead and go with first swatch of Melt your popsicle. Okay. So it's got very nice coverage. Very nice coverage. So that was Melt your popsicle. Okay. Next up, we have Smoked Out. And it's a very lovely, um, I believe it's a green and gold glitter in a blackened jelly base. Okay, so it might be a blued base. Okay, so let's go ahead with one coat of smoked out. It's a very nice formula, naturally. And that was one kind of thick coat, so you could probably have it opaque. On that, it's still just a little bit too sheer for my taste. Um, but I do two coats of everything, more than likely on everything anyway. Next up is Skinny Dip, and it's kind of like this bright blue with a blue shimmer. Okay. It's kind of reminiscent to me of Fiesta, but blue. So there is Skinny Dip, and here is one coat. And it is, again, just a little sheer on the first coat. Okay. Next up, I searched high and wide for this polish, and I believe, I don't know why, it ended up being, I, I had no reason to, because it was part of the core collection. And this is Night Owl, and it's this very pretty taupey with this beautiful sh silver shimmer. Think of Sinful Colors Prosecco, but with a silver shimmer instead of a gold shimmer. Okay, so here is first coat of Night Owl. Don't really know any of the collections too much that these come out in. Um, so I, I do apologize for that. Next up, not a fan of gold. You'll be hearing that quite often, but this I had to have. It's called Bling, and it is a gold micro glitter holographic. This one was from last year's 2000. No, sorry, because I'm filming in 2015. So this was from 2014's Christmas collection, and this is called Bling. And this can be opaque. Um, about three coats. Dries fairly fast. Need a good top coat. Because um, it is. Um, it does dry a little textured. Not much, but slightly. This is. Um, as I'm applying it now, it dawns on me that it's. <coughs> it's similar to. Um, the sparkling garbage that I showed you last 
video. Same kind of um, formula. This one here, mirror ball. This one was highly sought after. This was from the 2014 Christmas collection as well. It's a silver linear hollow with those scattered pieces. Now this was what I was telling you Color Blast has now in the minis. Um, yeah, okay. This is opaque on its own. Um, roughly, again, three coats because it is silver and it is sheer. Um, beautiful, though. Okay, so that was Mirror Ball. Next up is Digital Glitter. And that's exactly what it is. It's Glitter Mix to the max. There's like purple and then there's, I don't even know what color those holographics are. I think there's like green holographic or iridescence or I don't know. I just do not know, but it's very pretty. And there you can kind of see them on the brush. This is in a color blast, and I believe it's um, it's on clearance at Kmart right now. So if you like this, um, you can get the the smaller mini version at Kmart. I believe they're on clearance for like. 234 or something 334 yeah some weird price this one here came out 2015 i believe it was for the christmas collection or the holiday collection and it's called frenemy and some people have love hate relationship with this um so it, it's a good name for it actually it's got some shards in there rainbow flaky shards holographic glitter um, yeah, and I don't know what else. There's a lot of stuff in there. Purple. It's a lot of stuff in there. So let's go ahead and swatch it. It's in a blackened base. A lot of people say that when you put two coats on, you lose all of the glitter and everything. That can be true. I've put this over a concrete gray because, as you can see, it is kind of like a gray color. And it looked very pretty. So you can do that. You can put it over black. You could put it over dark blue. I think I did that, and it looked kind of neat. So, yeah. Okay, so we're coming back to Melt Your Popsicle. And you can see it did dry slightly matte. And that's indicative of a neon anyway. So... This is a very, very smooth formula. I mean, it's like it glides on. It seriously just glides on. And I kind of just made a bald spot up at the top. But that is Milk to Popsicle. Here is Smoked Out. And you can see that that did dry kind of matte as well. And it's not so much textured. It gets pretty smooth. Okay, so here is two coats of Smoked Out. And naturally with a top coat, it would look just like the wet swatch here does. Next up, again, somewhat matte. Don't mind them bubbles. That's just my, like, blah, blah, my latex on the bottom. This is Skinny Dipping. This probably will need three coats because on the second coat it's still kind of streaky, I can see. Two coats of Night Owl. And that one was one. Thick coat of Night Owl. There you go, Night Owl. I have to show you the uh, brush of bling I think I don't think I showed you so here is bling just a silk a gold micro glitter hollow and here is two coats of bling and if you're wearing a similar gold base underneath you could probably get away with two coats 
I mean, because that looks pretty good there. But from this angle that I have behind it, I can see um, some bald spots. Here is mirror ball. Okay. And here is two coats of mirror ball. Mirror ball has a great formula as well. Okay, so it is pretty much opaque on two coats. Next up is that digital glitter. Not sure what the color blast is calling it, especially even the um, the silver, the mirror ball, because I noticed they have it in a three pack now. So I don't know if it's a themed three pack or or what. Not too fond of the color blasts, only because they are like six dollars at Kmart, and I could buy a full size Orly for five ninety nine at Sally's. So. I don't see the point unless it's a like a discontinued color because some of them they do have that are discontinued colors hard to find whatever so by the way that was two coats of friend me so here we go so that is melt your popsicle smoked out remember just add a top coat this is skinny dipping. And again, three coats probably. That shimmer is noticeable there. Night Owl. Again, think of Sinful Colors Prosecco, but with a silver shimmer. Here is Bling. And this is a gold micro glitter holographic. Mirror Ball. And you can see that rainbow going on. It's not very good because it's in focus and it's not sunlight so then we have digital glitter we have all of those glitters there I don't even know they're just going all different colors and there's like a pink shimmer there that you could see and I don't know if I could zoom in if it's gonna get me better detail or not you can't really tell the color of the glitters like I don't know if they're purple or if they're silver and it's just looking purple because of that shimmer. I have no idea. I really don't know. And then here is Frenemy. And it's got that holographic glitter in there. And those shards. There's a good picture of those shards. Okay, so that's it for that. So what is on my nails today? Today I have Emerald Sky, and it's from Authority Cosmetics. Um, I will leave her link down below. This is actually still available. And this is three very thin coats. It's in a blackened base. And at certain angles, you can get that purple shift. I can't on camera here, though. But there is like a purpley blue shift to this. Like you could see it. You know, you can always see them better when you flip them upside down or so. But yeah, so that is Emerald Sky. All right, so I thank you for watching. And again, I will see you at the next one. Bye.